there's always someone downstream of you, whether you actually have a stream or not. And that was something I don't think previous generations really grasped. You worried about your square, you know, and, and it didn't matter what was going on outside of your square, but what's going on outside of your square has major effects on, on, on what you do here and how you do things and what you're allowed to do and can't do. And the worst thing, in my opinion, is to leave your next generation with a bucket full of problems. I always knew I wanted to be a farmer. Um, as a kid, I always asked dad or my mother what dad was doing out on the farm that day. So he was planting corn. I got my little tractors out and planted corn in the in the shag carpet or uh, made hay or whatever he was, I pretended I was doing what he was doing. And then when I was old enough to be um, out running around with him, I was by his side most of the time. And just, he had a positive attitude about the industry that just encouraged me to want to do the same thing that he's been doing. You know, I had seen the impacts of, of the, the old farming practices and, and could see the erosion and, and things like that. And I, I decided that, you know, maybe we should start implementing new of these things. I had a new fresh outlook on how we ought to be doing things, you know, and, and, and had a little bit of outside exposure that helped me to, to bring new ideas back here. And so in 2010, when I took over the operation, uh, we started implementing those new age, I'll say, practices of farming to help with conservation of our resources and help to ensure that, you know, we can have it for future use. I felt like when I took over, like, man, I wanna, I wanna address this, this, and this. So there's a lot of things, but wait a minute, I, I can't do it all at once. I can't do it all my own. So that was a, that was kind of an eye opener too. But when I leave, I want it to be just as good, or if not better, than what, um, what it was when I started farming. It. We're stewards of the land, and I want my, my son to be able to, be a dairy farmer or farm here if, if that's his desire. My daughter, she's five, she's the scientist, she's the hows and whys. You know, it's amazing that a uh, five-year-old, she understands in, in kids' terms, you know, oh, we need to feed the ground so it stays healthy and things like that, you know, and it's just neat to see the next generation starting to embrace those practices. And you may never get where you want to be, but at least the next generation isn't starting to square